Page Turners, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Matthew, the man with a hat, who reads. And for today's video, I just want to talk about occult detectives a little bit. There's a big reading thing going on on BookTube right now, hosted by MJ and a slew of other people, um, called Occult Detective October. Now, when they were first talking about it, I said I wasn't going to participate too much in it because I already had a huge... Um, TBR for October with a bunch of horror stuff, but I did squeeze in a couple here. I picked up Tim Wagoner's Shadow Watch novels. There's only two of them. I meant to read them earlier this summer. I thought, well, I'll stick them in now. As you can see, I'm already about midway through on the first book of those two, and I'm still really enjoying this, but I said to them, I said, you know, I could do a bunch of recommendations on this because I've read a lot of that kind of stuff. So, I thought for this video, I'm just going to briefly talk about five books slash series that I've enjoyed that are occult detective. And if you're looking for something new to read or you want something to pick up, well, here we go. Starting with this one, if you're speaking of Tim Wagoner, this is his, this is an omnibus edition of his Necropolis series. This is in the Necropolis archives. It's a big one, but it's also three books in one. Essentially... He is a zombie detective, zombie private eye, and his half-vampire companion. I mean, it's just, it's, you kind of know what you're getting into. A cult detective, I mean, he's a zombie private eye. That should be enough for you right there. Anyway, on that. So, I remember reading this. I enjoyed it immensely. There's, like I said, I think this is three novels in this volume. And it's like 900 pages. It's been a few years since I read it, but I didn't tackle it this year because it is, like I said, it's a big boy. But, like, if you get the books individually, I think it's Necropolis, um, Dead Streets, and Dark War, the three books. The first book is an easy, I mean, it's like 300-some pages, easy peasy read. So, that's the first book I wanted to mention. The next one I actually don't own, so... Ooh, um... Edgar Cantero's Meddling Kids. Um, this was the first book I read by Edgar Cantero. I have since read his two other books, Supernatural Enhancements, and This Body's Not Big Enough for Both of Us, which is also semi-sort of detective, occult. Not really occult, it's just kind of weird. But this one I think fits because it's best, if I was going to just sum it up, it's essentially Scooby-Doo meets H.P. Lovecraft. A bunch of teenage detectives that get back together as adults to solve this other mystery that kind of concerns some Lovecraftian monsters. So if that sounds as cool to you as it did to me, by all means, you need to pick it up. It is an absolute blast of a book, and I can't recommend it enough. Okay, now let's get into some other stuff. This is the Occult Crimes Unit series by Justin Gastanis. Three books in this series. You have Hard Spell, Evil Dark, and Known Devil. And as you can see, you've got a nice, lovely image on that cover. And they all have really good covers. So, but yeah, this is a series from Angry Robot. Actually, I guess half the books I'm talking about today are from Angry Robot, but that's okay. Um, like I said, it's essentially an occult crimes unit. I mean... <laughs> It's just, I remember really enjoying these. I mean, yeah, it's, you carry, I carry a badge, also a crucifix, some wooden stakes, a big vial of holy water, and a 9mm Beretta loaded with silver bullets. You know, they're, they're fun times. I don't want to go into any details because I don't want to spoil things, but there's certain things that happen between the books and I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's a really fun series and a good read for this time of year. If you're looking for occult detectives. Again, this one's not really a cult per se, this one, but it is a detective story and it does have some creepy, weird stuff going on, some nightmare stuff going on, some strange stuff going on. And I can't ever turn down an opportunity to talk about Tippy the Triceratops. <laughs> the Imaginary Corpse. I have talked about this book on the channel a lot and I will not stop because this book is just so bizarre, so strange. And I loved this book so much when I read it. I believe, if I remember right, I did do a review for it. I. It's a toy detective dinosaur named Tippy. <laughs> It's described as Toy Story meets Sin City. 
and it is very dark and brooding and creepy at times so i think it kind of works so i mean i don't know how many more times i need to rave about this book but i will keep doing it because i can then there's um the cal leandros novels by rob thurman i got the first two of them here there's like 10 books in this series but um, I picked these up because I was a huge fan of Dresden Files, heard this was kind of in that same vein, and gave these a try and really enjoyed them that Cal has been kind of taken away. He was kind of pulled away from his half-brother and then tortured immensely for like eight years, only it, though it felt like to his half-brother like it was a mere five minutes. I think it was, I don't remember. And He's part human, part monster. Um, there's vampires, there's werewolves, all that kind of stuff. Um, I really enjoyed this series a lot. I, <laughs> If you decide to give this series a try and you're enjoying it, stop after book nine. Don't pick up book ten. And the reason I say that is because book nine does wrap things up, but then all of a sudden book ten came out and ended on a cliffhanger, and it's been... <sighs> eight years now and there hasn't been a peep about a final book there was a whole there's a whole post online somewhere the author really kind of um went on a rant that i think turned a lot of people off of her stuff but i'm not gonna go into all that now that's a mess to deal with so we're not gonna dig into that but i enjoyed this series a lot it's been ages since I read some of these books. I should really pick these up. Maybe this will be next year's re one of next year's rereading projects is to reread these books and just see if they still hold up for me. But it's a fun series. The covers are nice. You know, it's got that dark, brooding look on it. But And I could have mentioned Dresden Files in this video too, but everybody knows the Dresden Files. And they are a series I love for multiple reasons. And I do want to do a video about the series sometime Maybe this month yet. I don't know. I have a couple ideas for videos to do this month. So we'll see if I actually get that in. But that's the video. I just thought I'd share a few occult detectives I've enjoyed. Or bizarre detectives I've enjoyed. If that makes any better sense. But what did you guys think? Have you read any of these? Do any of these sound good to you? What are you reading for Occult Detective October? If you're participating. Or what other books should I be looking into? that are occult detectives. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep turning pages.